as a guy just ran up to me and shouted, let's do this, guys. Arsenal 3, Liverpool 1. What a massive, massive win. And Arsenal have put themselves firmly back into the title picture. This was a great performance and a great, great result. And I think uh, that third goal, really the icing on the cake, the atmosphere from the first moment I walked into the ground was brilliant today. I think the fans knew how big this was, how much it meant. You know, we're out of two domestic cups already. Uh, the Champions League, you never know, it's a cup competition. This was about keeping our season alive as much as anything. Let's do this! <laughs> and uh, we did it. We did it. We beat a very good Liverpool team. Make no mistake, I know no Salah today. Uh, no Zobbers lie as well. That definitely helped us, but they are a good side. They will be there right to the end and they're playing for their manager at this point in time. But today was Arsenal's day fantastic performance um, and you know we're just a few days after the end of the January transfer window we didn't do any business okay but Arsenal. we did two brilliant bits of business in my mind in the last January transfer window when we signed Jorginho and Leandro Trossard I really think those were such smart signings um, and they've showed their worth today I thought Trossard off the bench was excellent got the third goal and Jorginho start to finish I thought he was brilliant. I have to say, you know, I know there are other players in the team who probably take a lot of credit. For me, he was absolutely exemplary today. A top professional who really, really performed on the big stage. And when you look at the amount of big games he's played for Arsenal, you know, he's been picked to face the likes of City and Liverpool time after time, United. When the big games come by, thanks for... <laughs> hey! Uh, that's my cousin, Will. Um, it's better if I just said it was a stranger, but I do know that guy this time, this time. Um, yeah, so Jorginho, he's been picked to play these big games time after time, and he's absolutely showed his worth. He's been fantastic. Uh, so I just wanted to have a quick word about him, really. I'm sure other players will take the headlines, but just thought he was so good. He, he did come into the team. Uh, there was, you know, no Gabriel Jesus Let's in the squad. This! Thanks, mate. Uh, there was no Gabriel Jesus in the squad. And uh, essentially, that meant we went with pretty much the FA Cup team, right? Havertz up top, Jorginho and Rice in midfield. It was Rice as the deepest of the midfield, as far as I could tell. Jorginho playing off to the left, helping in the press at times. Um, I think it just shows you how worried we were about what Liverpool have going forward, especially on the counter-attack. Keep Rice back in there to soak up all those transitions, cut out all those opportunities. The first half was blistering from Arsenal. It was brilliant. And we got the early goal through Saka. Lovely sweeping pass from Odegaard. Havertz probably should have scored, but it was saved. And Saka was there. Great first touch, great finish. He delivers again for Arsenal. Um, we could do with a centre forward who was as consistent in his end product as Saka is, because I think he's just been superb. <laughs> Uh, there goes the PG rating for anyone who heard that um, so 1-0 and it's going great first half I thought was brilliant Ben White loving his duel on the left hand side showing bits of skill Jorginho running the midfield I thought Saka was a threat every time Martinelli I've got to talk about Martinelli listen I think it's a few days since the 10 year anniversary of Arsenal signing Jose Antonio Reyes and I remember when we signed him something they said about him in Spain was he plays like he's on a motorbike well let me tell you Martinelli was on his motorbike today every time David Raya had the ball every time Gabriel or William Sleeve or Ben White had the ball racing into that space vacated by Trent Alexander-Arnold giving Canate a tough game look Canate <laughs> uh, Canate won that duel up at Anfield didn't he in the league game this time Martinelli won it hands down I thought he was sensational to, to be able to produce to be able to produce sprints with that kind of regularity in a game of this intensity is astonishing um, he's, a, he's an amazing athlete as well as a very good footballer uh, yeah, and we might have had a goal from that, you know, Raya crossing for <laughs> Raya crossing, uh, Raya throwing it out, Martinelli running down the pitch, crossing, Saka nearly scored, but Saka got that goal on the second opportunity. There you go. Um, he was waiting for his moment. I let him have it. Um, so first half, we're all happy, right? We're having a great time. But put my hand over the camera. Um, we conceded. We conceded right on the stroke of half time, and what a calamitous goal it was. Fortunately, we won't have to talk about it so much in the cold light of day, but 
William Saliba at fault, get rid of it. For me, David Raya at fault, come and get it. Both mistakes. Gabriel's the unfortunate man who ends up turning it into his own net. But hey, these things happen, right? All goalkeepers make errors, as we were to discover in the second half. Sometimes you can have the best, you know, uh, Saliba and Raya would aspire to be regarded like Van Dijk and uh, Alisson. Arguably the best centre-back and goalie in the league. Look at what they do on that second goal. Second half was a different beast. I think Liverpool felt, we've got the goal, this could be our year, you know. We've had that stroke of luck. We're in a game we don't really deserve to be in. Maybe we're going to go on and win it. And they threatened early on in the half. Then you get that second goal. Again, Martinelli chasing a lost cause. Can't credit him enough for that. What Alisson and uh, Van Dijk are up to, I have no idea, but I'll absolutely take it. Uh, Martinelli profits. Look at that, the, the goals Martinelli's got, winning goals against Man City and Liverpool in home games. Two of the luckiest goals you'll ever see, but you've got to be in the right place at the right time and he deserves a bit of fortune given his travails in front of goal uh, in recent months. Anyway, Leo Trossard comes on, I thought he was really sharp straight away and um, scores a lovely goal, you know, nice deal, goes down left-hand side against a ragged-looking Liverpool defence, a tired-looking Liverpool defence scuffs it I think off his left foot but he takes the shot on and sometimes you've got to do that how many times have we said in recent weeks Arsenal waiting for the perfect moment to shoot the perfect opportunity he hasn't got time to cut it back onto his right he hits it off his left it goes through the keeper's legs and let me tell you every replay of that was greeted by laughter from the fans in the, in the North Bank around me I'm going to try and dress in some clips from the North Bank because the atmosphere was brilliant particularly in the first half and at full time um, I'll stick those clips on the end this is a big win. I, we're in the title race, I think, now. As of now. Uh, back into it, let's say. Reasserted our credentials. I think it's still going to be very tough. This is a good Liverpool team and a very motivated Liverpool team. You know, last season, we weren't up against that. They weren't in the race. City continue to be City. They've got De Bruyne back. They've got Haaland on the way back as well. It's going to be tricky. But, but, we've given ourselves a fighting chance. And what do we have? that City don't have, and that Liverpool do have to be fair, but City don't have a ground that can rock like that. I really, really, in my heart of hearts, believe that. And we can, if we really get behind this team, like the fans did today, Let's do this! <laughs> uh, we can really rock the stadium and really, really push the team on. I think that could be so important. It's almost like the fans know as well the first half of the season is, you know, it's kind of an extended pre-season. This is the business end. It starts now. And if we can have an atmosphere like we did today, we'll be in good shape because it was fantastic. Um, you can probably get some sense of that from, uh, from what I've been showing you here. But uh, listen, enjoy the rest of your weekend, guys. Enjoy the rest of your week. And I'll speak to you all soon. Um, if you don't already, do subscribe. It's much appreciated. More videos like this. Uh, let's hope more videos like this and more days like this. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.